everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to day 11 of our Faith That Works devotions. Today we're going to be thinking about the motives behind why we might fight and quarrel with others and what this means for our relationship with God. Before you hear the Bible reading today, I want you to think about the things which cause you to fight or argue with others. You might want to pause the video while you do that. And as I read the passage, see if you can spot what the author presents as a solution to this kind of problem. I'm reading today from the book of James, chapter 4, verses 1 to 12, which say this. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You want something, but you don't get it. You kill and covet, but you cannot have what you want. You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. But when you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that the spirit he caused to live in us envies intensely, but he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Brothers, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against his brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. There is only one lawgiver and judge, the one who is able to save and destroy. But you, who are you to judge your neighbour? The author is really clear in this passage, isn't he, that our motives matter. Wrong motives lead to hostility with others and with God. And did you spot what the author gives as that sort of solution to this problem? It's humility. Submitting ourselves to God and not giving in to selfish and evil desires, which is why he writes to resist the devil so that the devil will flee from us. And resisting something takes effort and intentionality, doesn't it? So I wonder, what is one thing that you can do today to be more humble in your relationships with others and in your walk with God? Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for your word today. We thank you that it speaks truth and life into our hearts. Loving God, only you know what is deep within us. You know the motives of our hearts. And I just pray for any of us today listening or watching, if we may be struggling in this area, maybe uh, we have wrong motives that, that leads continually to hostility with others and hostility with you. Would you help us, Lord, to choose the humble path where we may be battling with pride? Just help us to submit to you and to your will and to live at peace with ourselves and with others, and most importantly, with you. We thank you that you give us grace when we humble ourselves. And we thank you for that amazing promise and comfort that if we draw near to you, then you will draw near to us. And I pray that you will do that this day and help us in whatever way we need your help. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope you're going to come back tomorrow and join us again as we continue on this journey exploring a faith that works together.